Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Uh, my name is Sadiq and uh, as always, welcome Farad to our channel. Thank you so much for being with us here. Pleasure, pleasure Sadiq. Thank you for having me. Great, great. Thank you so much. So uh, today we'll discuss uh, a film from 2021, which we uh, think was one of the uh, one of the most uh, you can say sweet or special, uh, not special at least, but at least one of the finest films of uh, Malayalam cinema 2021, uh, which was uh, uh, thankfully recommended to us by some of our viewers. And thank you uh, so much to you guys to uh, recommend it to us, and also thank you to Farad for recommending me this film. So we'll uh, today review Bhimante Wadi. So it's a Malayalam language film, which was initially released on 3rd December 2021 in cinemas. Then it was released in uh, uh, by 30th December on uh, Amazon Prime. So it's just recently released on the OTT platform. So it's, it's a really good film and, and uh, it has a, uh, you know, you can say a typical Malayalam touch. So this is one of the main reasons why we were really happy to review it. So it's directed by Ashraf Hamza and the story is uh, written by Chamban Vinod Jose and it's produced by Aisha Kabu and uh, Reema Kalima Karika. So, and it stars, uh, in the lead role, it stars Kuncha uh, Kumba Boban uh, and uh, Chamban Vinod Jose and yeah, and, and one of our most favorites, uh, Suraj Vindyar Mundu because he, he, he's one of the most regulars and one of our favorites in the cinema. And, uh, small. Yeah, in a small but a very important role, I guess. So it's it's good to see uh, this you know a, a good Malayalam star cast. So uh, I'll come to Farad now. Farad, can, can you just summarize the, the, the film and just summarize it? Uh, uh, give us a, a more of a like you can say spoiler free review types. Okay, so uh, firstly, I would just like to thank uh, the some of the viewers of this channel. You know, they had recommended us. Uh, uh, of this film in that video which we had done top Malayalam films some of you had said you missed out that so that means we read the comments so yeah. please go on commenting uh, we are not going to miss on and miss out on any comment so yeah. uh, thank you for recommending and uh, you will also find the review of uh, Bhimante Vadi on my site popcorn reviews uh, the link of it uh, Sadiq you can leave it in your description box so uh, Bhimante Vadi, I think, uh, as you rightly summed up, uh, it is vintage Malayalam uh, cinema, you know, I, it's, it's a very simple story, you know, of uh, a common commoner, you know, in a small sit town, or I don't know, it wasn't exactly a village or somewhere between a town and a village in a very, uh, uh, in a very small place where, uh, you know, he, uh, decides to expand on the road because he faced an inconvenience due to uh, the path that was it was very narrow so that is the entire story you know of how he manages to you know uh, expand the road and uh, uh, how uh, what all obstacles he faces uh, all this in a very uh, light hearted manner and uh, it is a comedy so yeah uh, i thoroughly enjoyed the film sadik so it was i think uh, uh, as as uh, you said, it is vintage Malayalam cinema, you know, that uh, simple story, simple premise, but, uh, you know, a uh, 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 very well-written screenplay, you know. So yeah. I think we are now, by now, used to this kind of, you know, uh, simple premises. So I really liked the film. Same, same. Really liked it. And uh, though uh, the, uh, the first half did take some time for character development and story and uh, writing, but then the film really picked off uh, in the second half. And I really liked the second half, especially, you know, the last 30, 40 minutes. So it, it was really good to see this film. And uh, I'm really happy to see Malayalam cinema producing and providing such amazing content to us. I mean, especially du during the lockdown. During Great the content. Yeah, exactly. And such different stories, you know, to tell. Like, I haven't, yeah. I don't remember any film that comes close to such a concept that is there. Uh, yeah. Like in any other uh, Malayalam films, you know, even if the stories yeah. are similar, you know, the storytelling technique is so different. So here again, yeah. um, I would like to also point out that uh, this film also uh, minorly touches on uh, points of toxic masculinity and yes. 
patriarchy that is prevalent you know in our society so it's just mainly touches and uh, sadik one thing you also must have noted that uh, there were a few subplots in the film but uh, none of them hindered the main yeah. plot that yeah. is there. you know the focus was always on the main plot throughout yes yes, yes. for sure for sure yes so what, did, what did you think of that like the, the credit i think goes to uh, the writer as well as uh, the director for making sure that they don't lose the focus of this film which i i've seen in many uh, malayalam films which do have you know uh, uh, you know you can say ensemble cast at times there are films where, where you have you know three four different story lines also but but they don't don't lose focus on that so even though this film did not have any uh, you know different story lines or uh, something but it did have uh, a few subplots but again as you said it it never lose it never lost its focus and it was always you know focused on the, the main story line so again credit to the writer and and again the screenplay as always the balayar film screenplay is always good and so always engaging so again credit to the director and the writer for, for you know forming such a good combination so it, it it's really good so i just want to just point out one <laughs> thing that you know if you aren't used to this sort of a screenplay or you know uh, i don't know for whatever reason this is also a niche i think uh, the viewer should understand Yeah. this is a niche at the end of the day uh, yeah. uh it may not be extremely appealing to everybody and uh, yeah i mean i agree with uh, sadik you know the first half does take a little time to set up the premise and sketch out the characters a bit flesh it out flesh them out uh it is a niche at the end of the day i think this uh, story itself uh, it's not exactly universally appealing if yeah. i would say i think it is a lot to do with it's an area specific thing maybe uh, you know for us uh, non speaking uh, malayalam uh, audience that is there uh, some of the humor that uh, they tried it may have got lost in translation as well you know because it is a comedy some of yeah. it but because yeah. it was the writing was so good you know the situations that were so well created that at the end of it i did get the gist of the humor that they were trying to produce you know yeah exactly or uh, at some place it was satirical at some do you think it was absolutely slapstick at the end um, that last yeah. last scene that is there you know <laughs> that was hilarious yeah and it's also situational humor uh, which uh, featured suraj suraj uh, venjara mudu uh, yeah. that was situational so there are different types of humor and the elements of humor also that are explored in the screenplay i think there must be couple of witty lines uh, witty one liners that probably it may have been lost a bit in translation for us so yeah, yeah that is that is what i feel i mean and yeah. what do you uh, so sadik uh, what do you make of the technical aspects of the film uh, the cinematography and the music how did you like that like yeah. so so you can see you know that cinematography of uh, malayalam cinema especially if if you see in this film so even though the budget of these films is not that really high but they are so cost efficient and so cost effective that you see i mean you know uh, the films they make so the technical aspects especially the cinematography that they focus upon it it's so really good that you know you are really engaged uh, in that so really heads off to you know the, the te- technical team so again also for bhimante vai i mean the cinematography was excellent and the editing also i mean i never felt that the film is you know uh, dragged upon and all so they they tried to make uh, the film as relevant as possible and this is one of the main reasons why the, the film really stood out and again coming to the music i mean that's the hallmark of these malayalam films so the music of this film uh, was uh, composed by vishnu vijay and it was really really good specifically the background music because i i'm one of those people who are really you know engaged or you, you can say really uh, you know uh, stuck upon uh, when uh, background music is good so i really liked it and uh, even though as you you know that you know we we are, we are uh, even if there are some uh, music or songs there are malayalam cinema because we don't really understand the lyrics of those songs but still the music is so captivating and so engaging so we do love this so again i mean all these technical aspects they were really uh, really well focused upon so i really liked it absolutely and what uh, sadik what did you make of the performances like 
again again i mean performance was really really good and especially the, the lead actor i mean my favorite kunchakku bomber i mean my favorite from uh, my, my favorite from Night. Uh, my, exactly i had to and he he he's a, he's a really i had to and my love story <laughs> yes 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 he's a really really good actor i mean i i i've not seen much of his because i think he was also in anjam patira so i i don't think he uh, i've seen much of his films anjam but anjam patira when yeah. near i think you had watched near as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. near 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 yeah yeah had yeah. um, nentar also yeah 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 exactly exactly i watched it yes so again the, the performances of all these uh, you know uh, actors was, was really good and uh, again <coughs> sorry then jinu joseph and uh, jemman uh, vinu uh, vinu jose and uh, suraj mm-hmm. vijay mandur and uh, there was you can say quite a lot of actors but all of them were, were really really good so i really liked it so who for you uh, in terms I mean, of i think the female cast i think uh yeah so for uh, from performance point of view i think uh, yeah it uh, would be uh, jinu suzuf and uh, konchakko uh, boban of course but i think i just want to also point out that the female uh, <coughs> cast was also quite good you know uh, uh vinci i think who was playing blessy she yeah. did a very good job i think uh-huh. uh, what is the name uh, manu thomas uh-huh. right mega yeah. thomas mega thomas, thomas. Yeah. she also i think was, she has a charming element to her you know that uh, very nice very natural acting and of course uh, at the end you know uh, chinnu channi i think uh, yeah. her name is like anju the one who played anju uh, yeah. he uh, <laughs> she also uh, uh, delivered a surprise at the end it was very funny the climax <laughs> and uh, in a good way i'm saying i'm not uh, not mocking it or anything but in a good way i'm saying in a positive way um, it did work for me so uh, so yeah so uh, i think uh, like in uh, most films you know there is an effort made to you know uh, even in a male an alpha male universe even the females uh-huh. have important characters yeah. and you know they contribute to the screenplay very well so i i really want to appreciate the writing here as well and this is the beauty of malayalam cinema right? that you know the the characters of all these actors are always pivotal i mean it's not only the lead actor i mean the the female cast i mean the female actor uh, the female actors apart from that the other supporting cast members they are also given bitter roles so they are all pivotal to to the film this is what i love about malayalam cinema i've never seen any character go waste or down the drain so really really liked it i am very impressed uh, i mean it, <laughs> probably i so sadik you know uh, you, from last video uh, would like to say that uh, you know we had a very hard time picking uh, the top malayalam films you know from 2021 yeah. and despite that we missed malik uh, discuss, <laughs> discussing it you know we had yeah. to mention it in the caption i oh, mentioned yes. it in the comments yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and then this one comes out again you know like so there must be so many other i think there was another recommendation called vellam uh, starring jay surya which i think we are yet to catch catch yeah. up with uh, so yeah. there must be so many other movies you know that i think it's been a stunning year a sparkling year for malayalam films you know i thought already they would have been turning content uh, good content since a long time but 2021 would be the year in which they, we've discovered it you know uh, and uh, i not exactly we i mean we were a little uh, prone to malayalam films even uh, before that but i think this has definitely been a breakthrough year without a iota of doubt I yes because i think you know 2021 was a bit difficult also cause because you see uh, we are in the sec- we were in the second year of the lockdown so 2020 still had many other films from other different regions of india that were you know that were still in the post production stage i mean the shooting and all that you know had already been done for many of the uh, other films but in 2021 most of the films were shot during the lockdown and all so it was technically a very a very difficult so most of the films were released on ott also so many of the films were not on, even released on cinemas so this is one of the main reasons why malayalam cinema really shot up and you know came to the, the recognition of you know the global audience so i am really happy for it absolutely to the rating of this film so farad what would be your rating for this so this is vintage malayalam cinema for me uh, and uh, i i can agree to disagree with anyone who doesn't like it it's fine i mean 
it's fine. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. So I really loved it. Uh, for me, it is a four out of five. Uh, I really love the concept. Really love the writing here. It was fresh. It was refreshingly fresh. Yeah. Go with the three point five out of five, because I personally believe that uh, you know the writing and the screenplay of the film was really good. So this is one of the main reasons why I will I will go with three point five out of five, because I also like the character development, and uh, you can say the writing of the film. So and also the you know music and uh, the cinematography. So. It was a really good effort. I mean, the technical elements and all. So yeah, I'm going with three point five out of five for this. This is a niche film, okay, and uh, you may feel a little, uh, you know, uh, overwhelmed or not overwhelmed, but you might feel a little slow at the beginning, or you might feel a little, uh, you know, uh, it's not your typical Malayalam film, you know. So. If you are new to Malayalam cinema, or if you aren't used to such a screenplay, you may find it a little drab. So just uh, you know, stick with it, uh, or else I think you can just uh, you know uh, may not be a starter pack as far as Malayalam films are concerned. So this is a niche film, may not be liked by everyone, which is fine. Yeah, true, true, exactly. So yeah, this is uh, this is a really good point that Farad mentioned, and I, I totally agree on this because. It, it it is it focuses on a specific niche. I mean, you know, that it doesn't it, it may not focus on the masses and you know uh, the typical uh, film viewer. I would rather rather say, but again, it, it's a really good film, and I would recommend people to watch it because you will like it. And again, Malayalam cinema has always comes with something different. So this is why we love to watch these films. Guys, you can like, share, and subscribe our channel. And uh, apart from it, uh, apart from that, in the comment section, you can provide your value valuable feedback, and you can also provide the list of films we can review in the near future. So thank you so much for supporting us, and uh, keep supporting. Thank you so much. So take care and bye.